Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. This is Gordon Tamayo with the Boy CB, and we are behind the business today with Rochelle Keller, and she is the co-owner of Yogurt's Grill. How you doing today, Rochelle? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Hey, I just want to chop shop with you a little bit. By the way, I got what's your favorite meal on the menu, Boy? Um, I would probably say our Godzilla hamburger. Yeah, okay, I haven't tried that one yet. Which one's the Godzilla? Uh, it has all, all the meats on it, yeah. so ham and bacon. <laughs> You're a meat lover. Yes. Not a vegetarian. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to getting this one, bacon blue. Is that what it's called? That's, yep, that's yeah. a pretty good one. Looks pretty sharp. This is my second time coming here, and I, and I said, hey, you know, I gotta talk with the owners here. Love the ambiance. I had a great time talking with your staff. And I want to talk to you a little bit about your business and from what I understand. A little bit of a serial entrepreneur yourself. Is that correct? This yeah. isn't your only business. Nope. This is one of them. What's the other business? Uh, Candy Electric. Okay. What's that about? Uh, we do electrical work, mostly hot tubs, sweet poles, um, and then just your everyday filling fan problems or outlets or just needing a new car charger or anything in between. Yeah. So for some people, it might seem like kind of a leap going from Canyon Electric, is that, was, was that your first business? Yeah. Okay. Jumping into yogurt's grill. What, what propelled you to jump into the food industry? Uh, my mom's worked in the food industry uh, for many years, and so her and I wanted to have a business together eventually, and we just kind of decided it was the right timing, and so I kind of do the crafty side of it and cakes and everything, and she runs the restaurant side of it, we just work on our strengths together. Okay, Tell the truth, I do dishes. <laughs> and yeah, she does dishes. You clean up after her, huh? I said, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of the crafty set things, because when I walked in here, I noticed that you were doing something in the back room over here, and talk to me about the community engagement piece of it that you have going on here. Um, so I like to teach things that I've learned over the years, so I decided to host a cupcake decorating class, and so just got some women together that, you know, wanted to learn and decided to teach them how to make some different Christmas themed cupcake decorating classes. Um, and then we do a few other things throughout the years uh, or throughout the months um, each year with different ki kids stuff. We usually do around uh, Christmas, we do Christmas crafts and bingos and then we also do uh, decorating Easter eggs for Easter. Um, Halloween's always a big one. We throw a big truck or treat. So we just try to give back to the community in any way we can. Yeah. So how long has this officially been open? Um, so we took over um, ownership and purchased it June of 2021. Okay. So pretty fresh. Yeah. 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 So what are some of the biggest things you're learning in this little over two year span now? Um, how to work with my mom. Uh, it's always fun when you're working with family, but sure. um, no, just kind of learning more about the restaurant industry. So it's always been her um, thing, but I have learned that I really enjoy it. and um, We're able to just put our passions together. So it makes it fun to kind of figure out how to collab multiple things. Because uh, when people see it from the outside, they see yogurts. And so they sure. think frozen yogurts, but they don't realize that we're also essentially a diner and we have a full bakery and also a little gift shop so yeah on the bakery side of it i just didn't realize that myself yeah a full bakery yeah talk to me about some of the things that you have uh, back there yeah so i have a full kitchen back there and i do wedding cakes and custom wow. birthday cakes um i like the realistic cake so i like to be challenged by customers yeah. and um, try to do stuff so I've done everything from like a realistic camera to a bag of Doritos um, just to big huge cakes that are um, kind of defining as far as um, wanting to teeter but are being held up by like Hulk hands and a big old superhero cake so yeah you know I want to come back a little bit to what you said earlier about learning how to work with your mom it just drops something on you <laughs> and that's on, on collaboration because you mentioned this twice already and about learning to speak to your strengths or your weaknesses and being able to collaborate with other people that compliment you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, elaborate for me a little bit more, if you would, on that, whether it's this particular endeavor or with the electric company that you own. Like, how important is it to collaborate with people? So it's really important, and it's really important not only to collaborate with your co-business owner, because my husband and I own Candy Electric, and so it's a lot, like, we see each other at home and we see each other, you know, also at work, so it's a lot of just respect for each other, but then also figuring out, you know, each other's ideas on where you want the business to go. Um, and then for here, it's, you know, my mom and I have always been really close, so it's been really good, um, but we've never worked together. So, it, you know, it has its challenges and whatnot, but 
we've always been able to talk through things and it's always just making sure you're at the same page, uh, talking to get, you know, about each other's ideas and where you want to see it go. Of course, she's my mom and so she agrees with everything that I say and wants to fulfill my dreams. Um, which is always not always the best thing because my dreams cost a lot of money. Sure. Um, but then it's not only that, but then talking to your employees as well and making sure you know they feel like they are a big part of it because your growth only is going to be growth if you can keep employees for a long time because they're not just employees, they become family. And so making sure that they're happy in what they do, but they also feel a big part of it and feel like they had a say in the growth and where we're taking everything. Gotcha. Yeah, that's good. So tell me about one of the biggest wins that you've had today since opening up the spot. Huh. Wait, and it doesn't even have to be monetary, right? Like something that's been impactful. If you scene take shape in the two and a half years that you've been on. I've had a lot of people come in and just compliment how like much more lively it's how they love our employees and you had mentioned that to me too that yeah. you know people are just happy and so to me that's a win when people can come in and they just the pe the person that greets them even though they're not an owner they don't have no stake in the business they, when they can portray their happiness, then I know I'm doing something right as yeah. a business owner and that I'm able to kind of give back and make it more of a family and a community versus just a business trying to, you know, make it me. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. The, the gal that was helping me out when I came here a couple of weeks back, that was one of the big factors that prompted me to want to know, okay, who runs this establishment? I want to know. So, it's props to you guys on how you run it. Thank you. Now, maybe a little bit on the more vulnerable side, what's one of the biggest losses or hurts or biggest uh, hurdles that you had to overcome since starting it? Like the tournament? Um, probably doing too much in one space. So um, when we decided to purchase this, it was a lot too because I already had a baking business and so I could already... Um, I already had my clientele and I've been doing this for a long time um, I have perfected that but doing too much in one space people don't understand it sometimes and so that's been where it's been a little bit hard having so many goodies out and then not selling through them so we just need to figure out how to market ourselves a little bit better so that way we're not I don't know overwhelming people but then also getting kind of our vibe of what we want yeah, so like really zeroing, zeroing in on what people know you for yeah. and what your message is. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Now, in the the era that when you first started business, so the electric company, how long ago was it that you guys started that? 17 years ago. 17. Oh, wow. You guys have been in business for a long time. Okay. So then you're, you're a bit when it comes to the skate. Yes. Entrepreneurialism. Okay. And so with you and your husband collaborating on, on that space, is he involved in this venture too? Oh yeah, he's an electrician. He's done all the ceiling fans. Okay. And any, anytime my mom <laughs> needs to work. Oh yeah. Anytime my mom needs something, we're just right down the road. Yeah, so he great. gets to help. But he does put his ideas in and two cents in and has been a big help. Okay, that's so it really is a family affair. Yep, my stepdad as well, he comes in and helps, so we uh, we all kind of just do it together and um, even when I got a little crazy in the kitchen around last Christmas when I had so many orders, my brother stopped by for some food and ended up doing dishes. <laughs> nice. It's good to work. Yep. That's great. You know, so a, a couple of things I want to just close off with is, is A, I'm talking to you about what are your aspirations for the coming year. You already hinted that you're a big dreamer, right? So you got some big things on the horizon. What would you say if the next five years looks like for this particular establishment? Like, what do you want to see? yourself doing this place and grand that you're building here. So I want to get across that it's a family oriented place. We have games for families to come play. So while you're waiting for your food, you can grab a board game and play. Yeah, my kids are playing um, with the setup the, that you have right here. Yep, yeah, so, so we have a few it. little toys. We have a little Lego wall so people can build. My passion is Legos, so I want to kind of bring that in and uh, I'm hoping to bring it in more in the future. Uh, I want to give back to the community and have people use this space as a community. Um, we have a party room that we rent out for free. You don't have to pay for it. So people can come in and do classes if they want to teach somebody something. They can have a business meeting or 
have we have a group that comes in and plays board games a couple times a month. Um, we have our free little library. I just wanted to more be just somewhere that families can come hang out and just enjoy, get out of the weather or get out of the heat, enjoy some frozen yogurt when it's hot yeah. or a nice warm meal. Yeah, or cold. Yeah. Um, or a nice warm meal when it's nice. you know, chilly. Out. Yeah, that's, what I'm, that's cool. You know, for anybody that's listening yes. to this that is maybe either an aspiring entrepreneur that's struggling or somebody that's just in a rough season because sometimes you go through seasons, right? Based on whatever working conditions, etc. What would be your words of encouragement based on your experience you could say, hey, it's one bit of advice you'll keep you on your journey of entrepreneurs? Just plan it out, but always follow your dreams. If it's something you're passionate about, your passion's going to come through and it's going to shine through and you're going to be able to make it work. So if you're passionate about it, then do it because life is too short to be in a job that you don't like to just do what you enjoy, enjoy going to work every day. So if you can make it work, go for it. So, appreciate your time. Appreciate and if you haven't checked out Yogurt's Grill, it's right here on the corner of Fairview and Locust Grove. You gotta check it out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get to this bacon blue burger because this thing's screaming my name out. Thanks for tuning in to Behind the Business with the Boise Beat. I'm your host, Cody Tomorrow. Until next time.